Hey guys, Emperor here. Bring you another Destiny video. This one is going to be a revamped version of my Warlock skill tree analysis. So, I decided to redo this because I've learned a few new things. Plus, um, things are more fun when you get to see them in action. And I kind of just talked about the skills, but this time I'm going to show them to you. So we'll start with the Vortex Grenade, our very first ability. So here's the Vortex Grenade. Um, I said in, a, in my first video that I liked it because you can make choke points. And what I mean by that is, like, if, if this was a doorway leading to a, a capture point in PvP, uh, you could throw it down and kind of choke them off from being able to enter for a minute. And if they do try it, it's going to wear them down a bit, and you can easily finish them off. So again, that was Vortex Grenade, a grenade that creates a vortex which continually damages enemies trapped inside. Next we have Scatter Grenade. Um, I don't like this grenade. Uh, I think it needs to be revamped. I like the idea of it, but it doesn't do uh, enough damage. I mean, I, I've I've tried it multiple times. You know, I've I've clearly tested on enemies, and it just it doesn't do what it should. So we throw it down, and if you maybe get it right on top of an enemy, like they're at the origin of the explosion, it might it might kill them, but. I know that looks impressive, explosions everywhere, but uh, it's really not. The damage is very, very small. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you Axion Bolt. Uh, as you can see, I have some experience in it, but it just stopped. It just stopped leveling. Um, I've probably thrown at least 100 grenades since it's been at that point. And it just hasn't moved. So uh, the best I can do is tell you about it. I'm sorry. So Axiom Bolt, a bolt of void light, which forks into smaller bolts on impact, which seek towards enemies. Okay, so uh, every class has uh, kind of a different take on their, their jumping abilities. For the Warlocks, it's Glide. Um, some of the other classes can jump a little higher, but I would say the Warlocks can go farther with the Glide. And then I do have the Enhanced Version, Focused Control, uh, which gives you better directional control on the air. These last two, uh, I guess, are not available in the Alpha because um, I've had this one, the Focus Control, for quite some time and have not seen any experience come into Focus Burst. So Focus Burst upgrades the Glide to provide an initial boost of speed and Blink. Um, this is just speculation, but I would imagine the Blink is kind of like switching between grenades because it sounds like a, a much different skill. Uh, a short distance teleport, which replaces Glide. So yeah, um, instead of Glide, uh, you would have a teleport. Uh, that sounds kind of interesting, but at the same time, I, I do like being able to kind of just float through the air and lets me reach places so I uh, won't really know until I get a chance to use that anyways uh, I will demonstrate the focus control so normally you know you'd have your glide and you would just kind of glide in one direction the focus control uh, lets you change your momentum much easier than not having it. So if your jump's a little off, uh, it lets you correct it very easily. Okay, Nova Bomb, this is our supercharge. Every class has a supercharge. It's a, I guess you could say a super ability. <laughs> it's, a, it's what it sounds like. So hurl an explosive bolt of void light at the enemy, disintegrating those caught within its blast. Vortex. Nova Bomb creates a vortex which continually damages enemies trapped inside. I would imagine that's uh, 
kind of the same effect as the vortex grenade where it leaves a, a damaging AOE on the ground for a short period of time. Shatter, Nova Bomb splits into three projectiles. And Lance, Nova Bomb travels farther and faster. That would be nice because as of right now, the Nova Bomb, uh, you kind of got to be close because it, it arcs downward very quickly. It falls short. So uh, more distance would definitely be appreciated on that skill. Okay, I do have a supercharge ready. So let's go take a look at this. Got a hive knight, or no, that's an acolyte. Let's get one of the big guys. As you can see, just completely wiped them out. Those are some of the tankiest enemies there are. And, uh, didn't stand a chance. Okay, moving on to our melee attack. Energy Drain, a powerful melee attack which drains energy from enemies and uses it to reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Surge, killing an enemy with Energy Drain increases movement speed for a short time. Life Steal, killing an enemy with Energy Drain immediately restores a significant portion of your health. Soul Rip, killing an enemy with Energy Drain reduces the cooldown of Nova Bomb. So, I would imagine that, um, well, I guess I would say I could speculate that uh, these might be things that you toggle between, kind of like your grenade, or maybe you get them all, I don't know, but um, basically energy drain, as of right now for me, so let's say I've used my grenade. And you can see in the lower left, my grenade is now in cooldown. Now if I go hit an enemy with energy drain, I'll get a slightly increased, um, or I guess you say decreased time on the cooldown. So now my cooldown timer is uh, it's speeding up just a little bit. But as you can see, now energy drain is on cooldown, so it's not something you can just hit over and over and instantly have your grenade back. Um, you do have to wait on it. Okay, Arcane Wisdom. Um, so every class has one of these lines, which are, uh, I guess you'd call them stat boosts or enhancements. For me, Arcane Wisdom, uh, training focused on battle recovery and speed. Arcane Spirit, training focused on battle recovery and toughness. And if you look at my stats, you can see the reflected difference between those two. And then Arcane Force, training focused on toughness and speed. And I'm just going to skip over to this line real quick because they actually have a second line of stat enhancements. Ancestral Order, training focused on all attributes. Chaos Order, training focused on raw speed. And Divine Order, training focused on toughness at all cost. Uh, these are kind of cool in my opinion because it lets you tailor your character to your gameplay style. Uh, so not everybody will be the same. You know, if I prefer to be, uh, let's, let's see, this one's recovery and speed. So if I like, you know, to be more agile, uh, this would be the one I want. Or if I want to be tankier, you know, I'd lose some speed, but uh, you can see I'd take a significant boost to the armor. So this one would make me uh, more tanky. So, you know, you get to kind of tailor yourself to your gameplay style, which I like a lot. Okay, so back to this middle one that we skipped. Vortex Mastery. Increases the range of Axiom Bolt Seekers and the duration of Vortex Effect of Nova Bomb and Vortex Grenade. So basically this is just an enhancement to uh, most of your other skills. Bent Gravity increases the range of grenades and Nova Bomb. So another enhancement to the Nova Bomb and to your grenade, uh, both of which I do think could use a little bit more range, so I do like that. The Hunger. Increase the duration of energy drain effect. 
So when you use energy drain, which is your enhanced melee attack, um, the the bonus effects of it, you know, obviously are are limited, and this just would increase increase the duration of them. So uh, a longer duration of of grenade cooldown, or what else did we have? Uh, the movement speed buff. Uh, I would imagine better better restoration of your health, or a better uh, enhancement to the cooldown of Nova Bomb. And then our final line of skills here, Angry Magic. Nova Bomb tracks enemies. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Now you get a homing effect to your Nova Bomb supercharge. Uh, sounds pretty mean. Embrace the Void. Damaging enemies with Nova Bomb or any grenade triggers the energy drain effect. Uh, this could, in theory, be kind of nasty because uh, if you had energy drain, say, reducing the cooldown on your grenade or your Nova Bomb, those skills would, in essence, uh, cool themselves down faster. So that, that might be kind of cool. Bloom. Enemies killed by any of your abilities explode. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Kill some guys with a grenade, uh, they blow up and possibly kill their teammates next to them. Or, you know, with your Nova Bomb. Possibly even with your Energy Drain, which would be kind of mean. <laughs> Melee somebody and they blow up. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, that's going to do it for the Warlock skills. Oh, there is one thing that I do want to add. This is not unique to the Warlock class, but when you're in the air using your skill, if you hit X, you will you will cut your, so in my case, glide. I cut it short. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm in the air getting hit, you know, I can, I can drop myself to the ground faster. That's very important when uh, doing multiplayer versus. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this uh, enjoyable and helpful. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it for you. Uh, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Your feedback and support is always very much appreciated. And, you know, letting me know what you guys like and don't like uh, helps me make videos like these. Anyways, I'll see you next time.